Hello and welcome back to Tech Day's 10 Minute IT Jams. I'm Tech Day's Managing Editor and today we're here with CrowdStrike. CrowdStrike is a cybersecurity firm that started in the United States and in just a decade has achieved a prominent position in the global market and right here in Asia Pacific. In a nutshell, CrowdStrike's Falcon platform provides endpoint security for organizations worldwide. To find out more, we're talking to CrowdStrike ANZ Regional Director, Jade Porter. Welcome, Jade. Thank you, Sarah. Okay, so let's get started. So we're going to talk a little bit about um, cybersecurity risks. So what does CrowdStrike believe are the main cybersecurity risks for Australian and New Zealand businesses this year? Yeah, so firstly, Sarah, risks are really growing and evolving at an alarming rate. Uh, we saw a 330% increase in e-crime uh, year on year last year. Uh, and the evolution of both e-crime and uh, adversary from a nation or a state-based ad, uh, adversary perspective as well, uh, really using more sophisticated uh, tactics and techniques, which is a really worrying threat. Uh, and really, we're, our intelligence shows that really all industries are at risk, um, whether it's healthcare, uh, logistics, onto you know, online and mobile banking platforms and the like. So you know, the other thing is the accelerated, accelerated rate of technology and remote working is also giving rise to inherent cybersecurity risks. So now devices, networks, data, and the management of all of these things is no longer a straightforward problem. So in 2021, everything on really both sides of the firewall will be uh, an organization's responsibility. Brilliant. Okay, so what do organize need, organizations need to, sorry, let me start that one again. Why do organizations need to rethink their cybersecurity strategy, um, especially when it comes to embracing cloud flat platforms? Yeah, absolutely. So look, the rapid expansion to this work from home anywhere model that we just talked about has you know, meant that many organizations are now reconsidering their approach to cybersecurity and that need to secure critical business information. You know, when their teams are working anywhere, cafes, pubs, beaches, home offices, as we both are today, um, they're all um, you know, outside often of the traditional enterprise's control. And reality is legacy systems can't keep up. Um, so really organizations need to engage a lot with vendors like CrowdStrike who were born in the cloud and have that cloud native capability. Uh, and, and it's a challenge for customers today. So we have a, a great survey we've recently released. Uh, we call it the 2020 CrowdStrike Global Security Attitude Survey, a bit of a mouthful, uh, but there was many respondents on that, around 2000 respondents globally, a couple of hundred of those here locally uh, in Australia and New Zealand. And they estimated that it would take around 117 hours to detect um, a breach. Uh, here at CrowdStrike, we work with our customers on what we've called and uh, coined the 11060 rule. So really working with customers to help detect in a minute. So not 117 hours, one minute, investigate that threat within 10 minutes and look to remediate and really put that threat to bed within, uh, within 60 minutes. Um, so you know, a real challenge for customers. And you know, we really think um, that organizations need to work with a crowd, a cloud-based organization like CrowdStrike to assist. Okay, so cloud, CrowdStrike has a focus on security cloud this year. Um, could you please define what this means for our viewers? Yeah, absolutely. So look, in 2020, we saw an increased spike in adoption of cloud technologies and workloads that sit within the cloud, um, as you'd expect you know, during the pandemic and the shift to remote work. Uh, and, and essentially, our security cloud organizes all of our customer data and presents it you know, with a contextualized intelligence so that organizations and businesses can make more informed security decisions. And really, you know, this isn't anything new to hit us here at CrowdStrike. You know, we're really the pioneer of the security cloud. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, we were, we were born in the cloud and our CrowdStrike Falcon uh, cloud security platforms, single lightweight agent architecture, leverages cloud scale AI and offers real-time protection and visibility across the enterprise. It preventing attacks on endpoints on or off the network. Uh, correlates over 4 trillion endpoint related events per week. So that's trillion with a T, not billion with a B, uh, on a weekly basis in real time from all around the globe, um, fueling what's one of the world's most advanced data platforms for security. Brilliant. Okay, so let's talk about the CrowdStrike Security Cloud. So what are the key features and the benefits for enterprise organisations? Yeah, absolutely. So really, we see organisations looking for really four key benefits. Firstly, is just that better level of protection to help with that evolving and growing threat um, from e-crime actors, state-based adversaries. You know, for all endpoints and all workloads, whether they're uh, on or in the cloud, on-premise uh, or hybrid. And then time to value. You know, this rapid shift to, to remote work has seen organisations 
uh, address digital transformation initiatives in days as opposed to sometimes what could have taken years. So being able to deliver this um, really quickly uh, to remote locations and really all endpoints uh, across the network, no matter where they are, and make sure you're really getting that value as quickly as possible. And then the other thing that we continue to hear from customers is probably as you'd expect, budgets aren't going up. So customers are looking for ways to reduce operational costs and you know, the operational overheads that, that's often associated with managing these types of complex environments. And then I think it's pretty well, uh, widely publicized that there is absolutely a cybersecurity skill shortage. Uh, so customers need to work with organizations like CrowdStrike um, that have that deep level of expertise and, and people that can help augment the skill set of an organization that they already have today. Brilliant. Okay, so we've talked a lot about end user organizations. Let's switch to channel partners. So how do your channel partners uh, best support customers with deploying security cloud and what value adds can they provide? Yeah, look, the partner community is really important to us. So we're absolutely committed to continuing to build an elite network of partners. We have an elite network today and we're looking to continue to, uh, to build and grow um, that particular community. Uh, our program focuses on really providing resources and access to the development and training and support uh, that our part, so to make sure, I guess, our partners are informed, uh, educated and knowledgeable about the value that the security cloud can provide to their customers. Um, as you know, mentioned, our CrowdStrike platform was built from the ground up in the cloud. Uh, it's also built to be open and extensible so that a CrowdStrike partner can easily expand their own solutions in real time. And, and through our partner program, which is called CrowdStrike Elevate, our partners can further enhance their security offer, uh, you know, offerings and tools to better detect, investigate and respond to security threats for their customers uh, quickly uh, and more efficiently as well. Uh, and again, those budgetary constraints that uh, the partners customers are facing and that ongoing cybersecurity skill shortage is an issue that our, our customers and our partners customers do need assistance with. So really an opportunity for partners to continue to add value in that space. Okay, so looking forward, what should be the top three priorities for businesses and C-suite management when it comes to improving their security posture this year? Yeah, so look, really this, this evolving threat that we talked about has meant that today we're seeing 80% of all breaches are actually the result of compromised identities, giving adversaries the opportunity to remain undetected in an organization's network for, for lengthy periods of time as they can camouflage their activity with legitimate credentials. So the first priority has to be identity protection. Uh, it's central to the defense of any organization's infrastructure and critical workloads. Um, but CrowdStrike, we call this a zero trust approach and as you know, really no one can be trusted. Uh, and this is something um, that requires the vetting of really every user and every access request. You know, as, as mentioned, a simple firewall and the use of traditional legacy antivirus solutions is just not sufficient to protect um, this ever-growing remote workforce. So really organizations need to work with a cloud native platform vendor that's born in the cloud uh, and have that approach to really drive that, uh, to drive those metrics around that 11060 rule to help you know, investigate and respond to events within 60 minutes. And then finally, as always, education is absolutely critical. Uh, organizations need to um, in investigate and implement uh, educational programs at all levels within the organization um, to ensure that you know, they're meeting all of their security requirements. Okay, so you've uh, explained a lot about CrowdStrike and what you do. So what if a partner or an enterprise end user wanted to engage with CrowdStrike, what is the best way that they can do so? Yeah, so firstly, I'd really point uh, all potential partners uh, or, or potential end users to our website, uh, a whole host of information there, um, no matter the industry that you're from or the type of partner uh, that you are. So have a look at CrowdStrike.com. Uh, the other thing I would say is, you know, reach out to me directly, uh, Jade Porter, uh, via LinkedIn, uh, and I'm happy to point people in the right direction, make sure they're uh, talking the right resources within our organisation. And look, finally, Sarah, just, it would be remiss of me not to talk a little bit about uh, our mission statement. So we actually here at CrowdStrike, we actually say we don't have a mission statement, but we're on a mission, and that is that, that we stop breaches. Um, so we're committed, we have the right technology, people and process to really help uh, address customers' requirements, whether you are a partner or, uh, or a customer. So do reach out and, and thanks again for the opportunity to talk today. Not a problem. That was CrowdStrike's ANZ Regional Director, Jade Porter. Thank you very much for talking to us today, Jade. Thanks, Sarah, and thanks to the audience. Thank you.